He's a determined young man. He's a focused young rider. And he's doing a superb job, Ruben Zaus. As Zaus has a look at Regis Lacone, and Lacone comes through on the inside. So another change of the lead. Bit of a shake of the head from Ruben Zaus. Not quite sure what that was for, but the Aprilia is back in front. Lacone's best result this year was fourth, and that was in the opening race of the year at Valencia. And he is less than three laps now away from his first win. Look at Zaus really pushing it too hard and was lucky to stay on the bike then. Well, we've said all year Zaus is in the house and he was nearly off the house. Okay, so it's tank time. Time to put the tank. Um, nice layer base coat on there, which we're not going to work too hard on that. There is, you can just see here, the outline of where the championship sticker was, so we need to get that flattened out. And we're going to do this back piece here. So I want all that to be black, I don't want to just leave it like that. And we've got the pump all nice and sealed in there, so we'll paint around that. Uh, the nose cone is gloss, so that's going to be wet sanded down tomorrow, and we'll put the decals on it. It's such a shame to, it's a lovely finish on that, it's just such a shame to sand it down. I love gloss paintwork. We've got to get that flattened off so it protects the paint underneath when we apply the decals. Then we'll clear over it again. We'll clear over the stickers, then we'll rub that down with a thousand grit. Then it's going to have its um, satin clear coat shot on there.
okay so that's those parts clear coated so i've got the tank clear coated the b piece and the seat cowl and i've just rubbed down the nose cone so i've flattened that off ready for the decals fitting i love gloss paint work it's a shame to actually sand these down but we're going to have to that's going to stay gloss uh, there's a couple of dust nibs in there we'll get those out no worries the tank looks beautiful isn't it that i love a good gloss finish um, unfortunately that will have to be rubbed down it will look like this it will look like this and then we'll put the stickers on it and then we're going to clear coat that uh, with more gloss then rub it down and then put the satin clear on same with that <clears throat> so I've cut this out as close as I can to the line and then I can line it all up Correctly. I'm not sure it fits. I think this is going to be the hardest one to to be honest the whole nose cut. I feel it's going to be the hardest one I just want to make sure there's no trimming involved. It does feel bigger than it, it looks than it should be sorry It's not always 100% accurate these decals and I hope that it doesn't leave a black lip around there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down here and if anything I'll trim this end. Uh, right, so we're good there. Let's get some water on that. Right, now I know this piece is not going to be seen, but it would have been better if this was one complete decal going down here and that was separate maybe. Um, this goes on here, but it doesn't seem to line up with it properly. See, th this piece here is, is uh, smaller than that line. The line actually goes down and across. I don't know if it's supposed to do that actually, but... It seems to taper out here than in again. It doesn't fit. It certainly doesn't fit like that. So, to line that up, it's kind of offset a little bit. It's going to have to go. I had this trouble with the other side. It doesn't really seem to line up with it. So I've got to line the white up best I can and just simply go for it like that I believe. Right, so I've got to get this lined up perfect with the other side. This is another difficult one, another uh, overlapper. So.
It's a bit naff how some of these don't line up, but maybe I'm not an expert putting decals on. The thing is, this is going to get covered up here, and that's going to get covered up, so we're not too worried about that. Um, I would much prefer to paint this whole thing on, paint it on. It wouldn't be that hard, really, just masking these lines up. I'd paint the whole thing white, I'd do the red, I'd mask it up and do the black. It would be quite easy to do. Right, okay. Okay, so this is all gloss now. What I'm going to do <coughs> is uh, wet sand this down. What should be happening is I should wet sand this down and then we should have the um, satin clear over it. But this, for instance, here, they don't match up at all. Um, I, I don't know why they've printed them like this. I mean, this could all, all have been one, in my opinion. This could all have been one. The whole thing could have been one up to there. I don't know. Um, the original stickers, decals for the Aprilia, I believe this is, is one solid piece. But lining these up, I've had to trim them. But they just do not line up, not even straight. Um, the backing film that was on these stickers, it's so tough to pull it out away. It's actually stretched that, that decal on that side. So it was this was in, so difficult to put on and to get all that water out of it. Um, it's even peeled off. You can see there some of the coating, some of the, the colour. This is, um, I don't know the printing process, but this looks like it's laminated onto the red. I don't know how it works. So... What I'm going to be doing is repainting all these horrible lines in and wet sand it all down, get it all as flat as possible. And then I'm going to mask up this red here and continue that line right to that corner on both sides. And then we're going to mask, mask off down here and paint that black. Then we're going to be painting the red in here. Obviously, we'll do all the red bits first and get that leveled off. And we'll paint in that red, get these black bits taken care of. Then we're going to do the white here, touch the white up, uh, try and get this line straight if we can. The white will be difficult because it'll take a lot of coats to cover that red. So, and especially the black bit here, and there's a little bit of black there. You might not see, but I can. Along there, look. So, then the other problem is we don't have any grey. To match this so um i'm gonna have to improvise here i can't leave that like that i know the screw will cover part of it but i cannot leave it like that there's some more bits there and there what i'm gonna have to do here is improvise so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mask this off just as much as i can and point and let it taper into here and probably paint that black i mean i was, I was thinking of uh perhaps going white with it Making it white with a pinstripe red, just something to match. But I'm going to do it both sides. I'm going to paint it black both sides. It would take a lot of coats to get that covered in white again, so black would just go over the lot. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to level the whole thing off and mask this. So I've got a black line which matches, which comes down here. Um, then I'm going to get these red lines straightened up. And then... It should be pretty good. Get the white sorted out and just get rid of all these little nibs and things. That should be ready for clear coat then, but yes. Let's fix it. A few more problems to correct on this paint wise. And I'll go into that when I've done this white bit, but we're going to get this white, this red bit, sorry. I'm going to get this touched up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go uh, heavy on these areas here just to cover that. Then I'll go light, I'll, I'll only go light across here just to blend it in. Um, these lines here where the stickers do not join, you can't feel that transition at the moment because I've because of the clear coat layer I put on there was about four layers of clear coat, so I've leveled that down and you can't feel where that was, so it's kind of nice and flat. And that's what you need to do if you're doing this, you can't have a transition between here, it will show up. So, this should not show up when I've done it. The only problem is that these white bits here and these black bits. They may be difficult to cover. I might just have to go over it with a tad of primer or something just to cover those. The problem is, this is already darker and the orange I'm using 
uh, it's almost transparent when you spray it on so it takes a lot of layers to cover it and I don't want to go too heavy if I go too heavy then you're going to end up building up layers against your masking tape when you peel it off it can cause a problem but it's all achievable so we will crack on with that now I've got some I've got very little of that red left that ready orange left so hopefully I've got enough to do the job with right let's get started Right, so I've had to go over it with white. Uh, this is actually a Suzuki white. It's a different white to what's on here. It's got some blue in it. Um, I've had to go over it with the white because the red, uh, this orange is so transparent, it's just not covering that area. So what I've done here, I've gone over it. I've got a quick sand down to get some dust nibs out. And I've gone over it with the white again, concentrated mostly on this edge here. And then after that, I've just built up some area around here and blended it. I've not gone all the way to the end because obviously I've got the tape squared off there as well. And I've got my blend area. You can see that here. So there's less work to get this, get this all matched the color. Um, same with the other side. The same here. This was the worst side actually. So. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is just let that flash off a little bit and I'll get the red sprayed on there and we'll peel that tape off and see what we've got. Hopefully it'll look spot on. There's still some more to go though, there's the white here to sort out so we've got that to deal with.
Right, so this job is almost coming to completion now. I've got the final parts to clear coat in satin. Actually, I'm pointing that way, but they're in there, the room. I've got the final parts to clear coat in satin now. I'm redoing the nose cone because the finish was a little bit too, too matte. Uh, on these, it needs to be like a satinish finish. So I'm going to redo the nose cone. Um, I've had a quite a many number of problems with uh, the decals reacting to the clear coat. So I'm ironing those out. I've done some little bit of repainting, repainting those lines and stripes in. Um, that's done. I'm really happy with that finish. No problems there. I've had problems mostly with um, these white decals and things. That I've put. I've got the water out of them. When I've been applying them and I've got them to stick, I can't touch that, it's still not cured. But there's been some little bit of bubbling and cracking around the edges. And this one is, is a slight, a slight, I think it's my eye really, a slight discoloration in the silver there. I can see it, you may not be able to see it, but if you look closely here, which has really disappointed me, can you see that there? I don't want to touch it actually, I don't Right there, look, just put my finger. There's a little pimple thing there. Zoom. There it is, look. Look at that. I can't know nothing about that. And there's one bloody there as well. Apart from that, it's good. I'm so gutted. I think there's actually one formed around this side as well. I've had this. And there's one there. <clears throat> that bugs me. They are tiny and some people won't notice them, but <sighs> I wish it could have done it down here something, or not at all. That is a, is a lovely finish on there. And, th and when I've painted it, those weren't on. I've just come back in and noticed them. So, good. But, you know, um, painting isn't without its problems. I get problems most every time I paint something. I get it right in the end. The only way for me to, <clears throat> to correct that is to uh, let that cure and then wet sand that uh, little bubble out and what I would have to do with it is mask it up carefully and blend some white in there and re-clear it but we're going to see what we can do um, might have to come back to that because we're hitting a deadline now and this needs finishing uh, I've got another problem here as you can see that this I've masked this up ready to be painted tonight this was the, the winglet and can you see where all those little saw blade effect things that's what happened to this decal I barely put only put one little tack coat on there and it's, it did that straight away reacted to the paint so I've had to sand that right down I'm going to have to repaint that for a clear it um, and that's about it so I've got some more stuff to do I'm going to get these into the other room now and move some more parts in here and we'll get finished up right Go for it. Right, okay, everybody. Um, here's an update on where we are. We're, all, we're sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. We're almost finished. I think I'm now 90, 90% there. 90% there now. All I've got is some polishing to do and uh, some touch-ups to do. So let's take a look. Uh, I've done. I've done the carbon fiber infill panels. I've 
apply the decals on there and clear coat them. That is a really nice off the gun finish. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. This here, this winglet, it's in gloss. It's in gloss because I'm going to rub that down, repaint the decal and then paint that with some matte clear coat. Um, I just need to touch up there, <coughs> redo the red, neaten that line up. So I'm not happy with that at all. I can see where it's uh, come away there. But apart from that, I'm really happy with those. It looks beautiful. I might even clear coat mine actually. I like that big shine on them. So yeah, I've got this done. I know the V piece now, I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a wet sand and a buff just to get rid of those dust nibs. The, the reason I've not done any video footage of me applying these decals is, is uh, for one reason I have, I'm short for time now. I've been really, really stuck for time. So I've had to crack on. That's why I've missed out most of the footage um, from the work I've been doing. And I personally need some lovely sleep. I've been working some long hours on this. It's been a tough, it probably has been the toughest job I've ever had. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the reason I've not been, I've not videoed everything, all the processes, because I've not had time to do it. Um, there's been a lot of problems which I've had to correct. I've sorted that out now, we're almost there. And plus doing these decals to these carbon fiber infill panels was a little bit of a, a difficult task or a careful, patient task indeed. So I had to cut those out. I had to line those up and masking tape them in, into position and then peel off some backing film. I didn't put those on wet, I put them on dry. I didn't I didn't damp it down to get these decals on. Dry is better, that means I can paint them immediately and I'm not bothered about getting any water inside them. Uh, because the thing is, this is carbon fiber and it's not really flat level, so you can have problems with that getting water stuck inside it. But we've achieved it. And these were quite difficult. I'd use a heat gun to carefully manipulate that and push that down inside because it's obviously not a flat angle, is it? So this sticker came across here and I had to, yeah, carefully heat it up. Only a split second of heat and then push that in, work it down, stretch it around there so it could fit. And I, and I needed all the space I could get, so I couldn't put the camera in the way. I need to watch that and get it done properly, so I wouldn't, wasn't able to uh, record it. I do apologise. Some massive pigeon on the roof or something like that. So we'll take a look at the other panels. Yes, I've got an out-of-date calendar. Right, so the tank is there. I'm really pleased with that tank. I think if I did it again, I could do it better. Some people might disagree. It looks good. I've got all these parts laid out now on the floor. These are the panels I'm going to wet sand. The only problem, uh, I've not got time to do it, but the only problem, which is a bit of a disappointment, is that this needs to. these should be in satin clear. They shouldn't be in gloss. If I had more time, what I would do is I'd rub this whole th panel down with around about 1,000 grit, get it flat. Then I would probably satin clear this area here satin clear it and then when that's cured what i would do is tape off this edge and i'll buff the whole thing up to the edge so that would leave you a nice satin finish on transition on there it would look pretty cool that that's the only, only thing i wish i could have done at a time the seat pan come out spectacular there is a few little dust nibs in there but we're not too bothered about that you can't, they can't really see them. In fact, my Aprilia itself has got dust nibs in it, and that's original from the factory. I think this has got less, to be honest. But the nose cone, I love I love the nose cone, and this design I've done here to mask up some of those errors, I'm really impressed. I think it's a nice touch. I'll show you that closely. So that line covers all the way around. It goes around there. We've got a pinstripe around the nose. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, everyone's going to want that, aren't they? So the fairing panels, the fairing panels have come out lovely. There's barely any dust nibs in that. Really happy with it. The seat unit, which is a disappointment because of these little um, little bubbles that's come out in there. Really, really, really disappointed about that. It's, it's kind of spoiled it for me, but some people won't notice them. I certainly will, but we can correct that in the future if need be and then that should be it we'll display these ready for bruce to collect them and see if he's happy
We'll see if he's disappointed. Right. Over and out. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going to get my beans on toast and call it a night.